Hello everybody and welcome back to another reaction video and today I'm going to do a reaction to Planet Dawn Dumb Reasons We Got Detention number 4 and so let's get into the reaction video and I'll talk to you guys about something after the video. Planet Dolan. Okay, a bit by Prince Proton. From correcting a classmate's grammar to disturbing the peace with a sneeze, the Planet Dome crew reenacts some of the best true stories from our subreddit about the dumbest reasons we've ever gotten detention. I'm Melissa, and today I'll be your narrator. All right. Number 10 was submitted by Kurt Boda Cobain. Dolan had a doctor's appointment one morning and was late to school. For some reason, when he arrived, his classmate stared at him as though he'd killed someone. Dolan ignored it and gave the doctor's note to the teacher. He went to take a seat, but the teacher told him to stay in front of the class. The teacher handed Dolan a detention slip, despite having a doctor's note. Number 9 was submitted by Chaz okay. 1994. One time, MKLM went on a school trip. On the ride back, the bus stopped at a service station for a 45-minute break. Since he would get motion sickness on long drives, MKLM bought two packs of mints. He noticed that one of his teachers saw him purchase the mints and gave him a little grimace. MKLM thought nothing of it. After about an hour of being on the road, the teacher saw him with only one pack of mints. She asked MKLM where the other pack was, and he said that he had eaten them. Furious, the teacher gave him two detentions, confiscated his other pack, and ate them. Number eight was submitted by Gullinator. Okay. In sixth grade, Duke science teacher made each student in her class bring a book so they would have something to read when they finished their work. One day, when Duke was in class, she finished her work and needed something to do. She had a book with her, but instead she decided to work on a project for her history class. When the teacher approached Doofy and asked where her book was, she reached into her bag to show her. But before she could take out her book, the teacher slapped a detention slip on her desk. Despite explaining to the teacher that she had the book with her, the teacher still wouldn't take the detention slip away, saying that she should have been reading the book. Doofy knew that the teacher's dad also really? worked at the school and talked to him about it. Doofy's detention slip ended up being taken away. Thanks to her teacher's dad. Number seven was submitted by Hunter8436. In English class, Sid had his MacBook Air computer out and was playing with it when the teacher noticed. She told him to get his binder so she could write a note to his parents. As he was getting his binder from his bag, she told him that he was getting detention during lunch break. He looked at her and asked her what she did. She told him that he had rolled his eyes at her, which was something he didn't do. The next really? day, the teacher asked Sid what his parents had said. Told her that his parents thought that it was very ridiculous of her to punish him for something like that and to think next time. Number six was submitted by Flame234. When he was in 10th grade, James Shark got detention for something really stupid sneezing. One day, really? when he was taking a test, he let out a loud, slimy sneeze. His teacher went off and gave him detention for disturbing the peace. He still ended up getting an A in her class and laughs about it to this day. Number five, by Brian the app, 0120. Okay. When Telloff was in sixth grade, he talked to a classmate, Derek, at recess. Derek asked, Have you ever saw that? Telloff replied, Yes. Yes, and you are not using proper grammar. It should be, Have you seen that? Later on, Telloff was sent to the office where he saw Derek crying. The principal asked him if he did anything mean to Derek, to which he replied, No. Then Derek said, He corrected my grammar. Really? To say, Tullock was shocked, standing there in disbelief. The principal asked why he corrected his grammar. There was an awkward silence until Tullock replied, Uh, because it was improper. That was when the principal gave him a death stare, sending him back to his classroom. He ended up getting detention afterwards, all for correcting someone else's grammar. Number four was the really? real King Panda. In fourth grade, Hellbent went to a special class once a week because he had trouble learning in larger classes. One day, while in the special class, he had to draw a picture and create a story out of it. At the time, Helvent loved dinosaurs and dragons, so he created a story about a dinosaur with big horns. He gave it the title, My Big Horny Dinosaur. <laughs> After showing it to the teacher, he got in trouble for using inappropriate words in school and was given detention. <laughs> Helvent was only in fourth grade, so he didn't even know what horny meant. Yeah. Until he asked his mom what he got him from school. Number three was submitted by okay. Jester. That one was one time, funny. Time Wanderer wanted to wear a leprechaun hat to school on the Friday before St. Patrick's Day weekend. So he asked the principal if it would be okay, and the principal said that it was. 
At Friday, Time Wanderer went to the school wearing his leprechaun hat. He saw several other students wearing similar hats as well. However, as he walked past the reception desk, the woman behind it tried to snatch it off his head instead of asking him politely to take it off. She couldn't reach and managed to hit him across the face by accident. Time Wanderer recoiled from the surprise okay. spot, causing the woman to trip over his legs. She ended up giving Time Wanderer detention for wearing offensive headgear. For three oh, days, oh. he had to sit in a room without talking and received only five minutes each day to get lunch. Number two was submitted oh, by really? 143. Back in high school, the captain was playing with a paper clip. He unfolded it and wrapped it around his head. Well, a teacher saw him doing that and made him sit in a room for three hours. She considered Captain's unfolding of the paper clip vandalism and How? making it a weapon. What? Even after How? Captain served his detention, the teacher continued to hate him. It got to the point where even if he talked to her, she would give him detention. Number one, the dumbest reason I ever got detention. What is I was it? in fifth grade playing soccer with my friends on the field. We noticed that a few girls had set up by the goalpost while we were playing. I walked over to them and warned them that they may get hurt, but they insisted that they wanted to stay there. I suspected it was because one of the girls had a crush on the goalie. So I said, okay, I warned you, and we kept playing. Sure enough, when I went to take a shot, it wasn't the goalie I aimed for. It was the corners of the net. And guess who was standing there? Who? Sure enough, when I went to score, I hit one of those girls right in the face. Oh, okay. I apologized, but at the same time, I also said, I did warn you, sorry. She went straight to the principal, and I ended up getting detention. Really? For playing soccer and scoring what would have been a goal. <sighs> really? Huge thanks for all the folks over on our planet, Dylan Severed, for submitting their stories. We have another question for you. What was the stupidest response to a teacher's question that you've ever heard? Let us know in the Reddit page linked below, and you might be featured in a future countdown. Check out the latest Dolan Card update, Nixiumville. A new character, heaps of new skins, a new power-up, new level, daily missions, and offline mode. Download from the Android or iOS app store and start racing today for free. Catch you guys next time. Bye. Okay, guys, that was pr pretty dumb, besides that, besides, those were really dumb reasons. Besides, Time Warner was, Time Warner was, was Pretty much the dumbest one I've seen, and how and I gotta admit, Hellbent's one was funny. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are laughing at that. The bro, bro, bravo to that. Any anyway, before I close the day, I did say I was gonna talk to you guys about something. So pretty much it was gonna be about school. Don't get don't get too bored by this. So pretty much I was gonna talk to you about that. I want to. I start school on on August eighth, but I pretty much decided to wait until like maybe like like the thirteenth or something, cause that's cause I seen pr pretty much some other people go go start school the, the that kind of day. So pretty much I forgot. So but now I remember. So I want to ask you guys. So here's a question I want to ask you guys. What? How was your first year of school? Just let me know. And just let me know if you want to. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.